What? Wait, are we barrel buds or barrel buddies or what? We're barrel buds on a couple of. Uh, <laughs> where's the like, barrel buds? No, we're not those dickheads. Barrel buds on YouTube. We're live. We're live. Very good. We are live. <laughs> Is this your water? That is yours. Oh, thanks. It's great. Uh, there we go. We're live. We are live. Let's give it a couple minutes to get some get some get some folk in here. Internet. <clears throat> I'm gonna get some posts out on uh, Instagram. Oh yeah. Our channel. Let's do a little uh, share. Copy link. Let's do a little Insta. Let's do a little switch over to the buds. Let them all know. And let them know. We are sitting on the internet. Oh! I see kick ass. I will do a layout of this and this. Done. We'll go to Insta and we will do a little post action. Right. Join us now live. Because we're live. Bio. We're live. It's easy as that. <laughs> That's how we do it. Hello there. We have a viewer. I don't know who that is, but hi, viewer. Hello, viewer. Hello, viewer. Let me do a social media post. Tumbling dice. Got the tumbling dice and the fray ranch. All right, let me get us on Discord, some of my friends on Discord. There we go. We're getting some, we're gonna get some people there. Make a few posts, a little social media action. Hot weather, what whiskey slash bourbon are you drinking to cool off? Looking at one of the old barrel buds Instagram posts. <clears throat> easy now. Easy, easy, easy there. Easy there, fella. Easy there, little fella. One person. We got one lonely viewer. Hello there, one lonely viewer. Who's that? I don't know. They got to say hi. They got to say hi in the chat. Say hi in the chat, viewer, if you want to interact with us. You sure that's not me? Maybe it's you. If you're in the chat, then it's just you. It is not me. All right. But we are locked and ready to cock, or cocked, locked, and ready to drop, I think they say. Cocked, locked, locked, cocked, and ready, ready to rock. Ready to rock. Locked, cocked, and ready to rock. I'm going to tell you right now, even though we only have one person here, this Frey Ranch smelled stupid good. I did not smell it. Dude. First of all, this like metal, feel this like fucking solid metal cap. Wow. And then get a little whiff of that. 
That does smell very grassy. Yeah. Alfalfa. Dude, totally. Totally. And the whole bottle is very stout. Yeah. Damn, there's a lot of glass that went in. Like, that. we could go visit Frey Ranch. Yeah, northern uh, Nevada. Northern Nevada, dude. Right outside of uh, mm-hmm. Reno. Or as I understand. Fallon. Huh. We can call these Jamokes up and go visit them. Hey, uh, Jamoke. Give us some Frey Ranch. Said, they said, and we'll tell them. Your bottle said, "Come visit us." Come visit us. Their bottle says, "Come visit us." Frey Ranch. There you go, Frey Ranch. Frey Ranch. Straight, straight rye from Frey Ranch. I'm gonna put Woo Chili, even though we're not gonna drink it, but I just want to fucking gloat. Whoa. Woo Chili. God, oh, we're not gonna get that in the picture. Let's do this. Why do you want it to sit in the picture? Get a little, yeah, just get like a little, there we go. There we go. From our friends at uh, Smoke Wagon. I have not had woo chili. Woo! You know who really, Hopper was like, hey, let me know when you guys are like. Rocking and rolling? Yeah. There, I shot him a message. It's the barrel, buddy. Ah, uh, who else? All right, I post on Facebook. Who do you think that is? Who? I think that's Statchel, maybe? I don't, I don't the know. The Stasquash? No, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to message Statch. You're like, hey, check us out. Check, 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 check us out. <clears throat> Who else? All right, we tweeted. We're live. We'll chill. We're good. Yeah, let it go for a little bit. (laughs) I think we might be stopped. What do you think? No, we're not. We're fucking live. Oh, no, there it goes. Yeah. Yeah, excellent connection. Very good. Yeah. That new Doxus 3.1 modem, right? Dude, that, that new, the new upgrade is amazing. Yeah. No more drops? No. No more disconnects. <laughs> no more half-ass shows? <laughs> yeah, no more half-ass shows, yeah. I think we were doing really good last week. I really, uh, I think we had a... a Statchel should be joining. Stasquatch? Yep. I, sh- I shot the message out here. We'll see who joins us. There we go. There we go. We'll see. We'll see who we get. We'll see who we get. And uh, very impromptu. Very impromptu uh, show tonight, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. You're supposed to participate. Right. Sorry. Sorry. I'm, uh, <laughs> I, I am distributing the uh, the link to uh, to our YouTube channel. Good. Um, tonight, uh, very impromptu show. We have fixed our technical challenges. Hopefully. Yep. Got a brand new <laughs> brand new modem. I know that sounds really. Yeah, that's what the bullshit. so the internet support people told you. You need. Better hardware. Your hardware is failing. Yeah, so to go into that a little bit, at first I was like, this is bullshit. I work in IT and you're just giving me some bullshit excuse to go buy some new modem. But here's the thing. Okay. I haven't really touched the modem in a long time. Oh. And when they were reporting these issues, I walked over and I touched it. It was like burning hot. Wow. And I was like... 
Yeah, this probably isn't normal. Okay. For it to be, like, burning hot. How old was it? A year old, maybe. Oh, Statch is here. He's hey, here. buddy. Hey. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Statch. Yeah. How you doing, buddy? Hey, bud. How is the East Coast? We get some East Coast representation. Thanks for joining us. I know it's late in your neck of the woods. It's only 8 o'clock here, but you're uh, 11 o'clock, probably right? laying in bed yeah. on a Thursday. On a Thursday. Right. So anyway, so back to the modem story. So um, the, the random, I, I won't even say, some random country support I ended up talking to, some non-English speaker. Very, very offshore. Right. At very offshore, and he's basically like, oh, sir, you need to buy a new modem. And I'm like, really? Buy a new modem? Like, that's your excuse? Like, really? Well, I mean, like, the, the extent of the, uh, the the troubleshooting, was it really like, do you, you see the world icon oh, yeah. on your computer? And is it is there a green arrow that's turning to the right? Yes, it was very, uh, there we go, getting wasted in bed, Stash. Oh, great. <laughs> Humid and getting wasted in bed. Well, join us. While we get wasted. Oh, it's hot there. Oh, the humidity. I we remember, remember that. We I remember, remember that. I remember the dead of winter. Everything's like this. Cold as all hell. But in the windy summer. Windy and cold. Yeah, windy, cold, and windy and cold. Yeah. Right? But um, in the summer, drenched in sweat. Like drenched. you would walk out. I'd walk out of the AC Marriott completely drenched in sweat. And yeah. I mean, we're Ten not we're, we're not the epitome of health, but it was very, very nice. hot, very yeah. hot, very, very hot. hot, very hot. Um, but yeah, so back to the modem story. So the guys like buy a new modem and I'm like, what the fuck? Like, really? That's what I got to do. And that's when I was like, you know what? Let me go like investigate the physical. Like you said, look at the coax cable. So I went behind it. The coax cable and the modem itself was probably like 150 degrees. It was oh, hot. Boy. It was burning up. Huh. I wonder why. I don't know. So then I was like, okay, what's the worst that can happen? I buy a new modem. I'll keep all the receipts and box, and if all else fails, I'll return it. Yeah, you get a warranty or something like that on the old one, maybe. It, exactly. Here's so it. I bought it, set it up. It's been running for two, three days. It is room temperature. It's not hot like the old modem. And we have an excellent connection on uh, YouTube, which is a first oh, for yeah. us to have an excellent connection. Surprising. Yeah, I'm seeing like no no frames dropped. No frames like dropped. Yeah. So for those that don't know, we use um, OBS. So the uh, like it's like a third party system that to stream. And it has this little, like, box at the bottom that's, like, green, yellow, or red when you're, like, what's your stream quality? And previ our previous shows, it's always been between, like, yellow and red. And we're like, <laughs> oh, that must be normal. Right. And it's always, like, standard connection. But now we have an excellent connection with YouTube. We are green. We are green. Right. And, uh, yeah, we're getting 60 FPS. And we are, we are locked and loaded, man. Heck yeah. Like, surprising. Very impressed. Oh, yeah. Cheers to that. Cheers to that. So, cheers. So, what we're drinking, why don't you grab the bottle? I don't mean to Good have idea. you get up, but Just maybe we can, uh, we can talk a little bit to the crew here who's with us about what we are imbibing tonight, right? Yeah. So, like, you know, with Barrel Buddies, normally the show consists of a bourbon or whiskey, right? Right. But uh, part of tonight, right, or at least the, uh, the beginning of it. We are enjoying a barrel-aged beer, right? Yeah. This comes from uh, the brewery in Placentia, California. Get it up! Get it up there for the for the crew. The brewery. There it is. Yeah, and this is the uh, the small batch hoarders. Uh, one of the small batch hoarders um, beers, um, and this is called Maple. Or I'm sorry, Mash and Maple Grind, bourbon barrel aged barley wine style ale. 100% anniversary ale with coffee and maple syrup. Tasty. So for those that don't know, we have varying opinions on coffee beer. So here's the thing about coffee. Coffee is a great 
what they call adjunct, like an additive to beer, right? It's a great additive, great adjunct. Yep. But there's a little, there, well, there's not a little, there's a huge but to that. Big caveat. Big caveat. Coffee goes bad relatively quickly. So there's oils in coffee, specifically in coffee beans, and that's usually what uh, a lot of these brewers do is that they put coffee beans directly into the barrel, is that these beans give off an, a specific oil. It's kind of like just part of the natural process of a roasted coffee bean. Uh, and it actually adds a, a lot of really good flavor. But when this oil sits for any extended amount of time in a bottle, it becomes rancid. Uh-oh, Zach's getting a phone call. Is this uh, our friend, our other barrel oh, buddy? Oh, maybe we might have an additional barrel buddy tonight. There he is, our additional barrel buddy friend. Hello, BJ. Are you so, ready? Are you ready for us to call you on the big, the big screen? Oh, where is it? I thought we had the iPad like ready to go. I'll just find the iPad. Where's the iPad? I, I thought I just saw it. Hold on. Where's the iPad? Where's? You know what? I think the iPad's in my bedroom. I gotta go get it. Let's go find it. All right, we're gonna go find the iPad. You go find the iPad. So, so I will stand hang by, out. stand by, hang tight, and continue talking about coffee and Rant City. That I will. Yeah. So BJ, we were uh, we were kind of going over the uh, the small batch hoarders um, offering that we had tonight, and I don't think did you try the mash and maple grind? Oh, I see. Okay, so. We, uh, we actually opened up another beer, and uh, yeah, it's Mash and Maple Grind. Um, <clears throat> let me give you, well, I'll give you the, um, here, should I, should I put you near the, do you want to be on BarrelBuddies.com? Eating salad. <laughs> let me, uh, let me, let me describe it to you. Mash and Maple Grind. Bourbon barreled aged barley wine style and 100% anniversary ale with coffee and maple syrup. It's like eating pancakes, maple syrup pancakes, and drinking coffee all at the same time. Like you're awesome. you're eating like and then you're good. drinking. Yeah. Pretty amazing. To me, that sounds like what it would smell like when you go into a shitty casino diner. We're going to hang up with you and call you on the big screen. Okay. Yes, we're putting right. you on the big screen. DJ is eating salad. Ah, <laughs> oh, there he is. I am. I, I made taco salad as soon as I got home. That sounds great. It is delicious. Very good. All right, well, the third barrel buddy, DJ, yeah, is about our, to uh, join the party. Yeah, we're going to have... Uh, Yo. Oh, that that doesn't fucking work. So yeah, yeah, I think we do that. Camera needs to go back now, or do a re, a re re <laughs> rearrange. We're gonna do a little re re here. Just give us a moment. Yeah, that's that's just being the corpse's ass. Here we go. Hold on. Be right back. All right. And then maybe you do a little tilt for us on the main the main guy. Don't do a move back. No, just just yeah, maybe do a little move back. And you can see it on the screen there. Pull it pull it back a wee bit. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect. Right there, right there, right there. It's good. Okay. It's good. Good. It's good. Let me get the uh, the barrels. No, it's it's fine. That's fine. There we go. There we go. It's brilliant. We'll have everybody, once you hop back in, we'll be good to go. I have the laptop. We got everybody we need here. Here we are. And there we are. Here we are. Woo! Uh, so we're talking about, well, we were talking about coffee beans, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, when the coffee beans go rancid, they Oh, get off God. Green pepper. If you have a beer that smells like green pepper... 
the coffee bean oil has is gone rancid. rancid. And that's a good point. So a lot of people drink coffee and they're like, ooh, this has a really good... Hey, Brewski! <laughs> what up, dude? Brewski says, hey, Ringo. I'm going to say a little what up in the chat here for him. Bruce Brand. Uh, but yeah, that's the thing. So what people... Sometimes people are like, ooh, this has a really good green pepper taste to it. No. Green pepper is an off... It's an off flavor. It's an off flavor. Yeah. Which uh, produces from that rancid... It's a rancid... Uh, the oil that's given off by the co- the roasted coffee bean yeah. is bad. Bad flavor. Oh, there yes. he is. Welcome back, Beach. We got you on the on the big screen, front and center. Hey. hey. Can we hear him or no? No, I think we can hear him. Give him a little turn up. Maybe turn up a little volume there. DJ, say something. Pump up the volume. There, there we go. There he is. A little better. There he is. <clears throat> yo, yo, yo. I'm going to send out a quick... Uh, blast here to the uh, to the Insta followers. Already did. Oh, nice. Never mind. I'm not gonna do nothing. I'm did that? Did happening. Instagram? Did our Twitter? Did our Discord? Did YouTube? Did my personal Facebook? He did his personal Facebook. We're all over the place. Then we're ready to rock. The world knows. The world. The world of our whopping five people know. I was gonna you say there's like, there's probably <laughs> like a maybe yeah hundred people hundred couple hundred people yeah there. we'll see or five. Six. You got a couple hundred people or six. Uh, but yeah, so back to that green pepper rancidity. Yeah. Uh, once you figure it out and yeah. once you understand, you really, you're really going low there on your uh, FaceTime. Hey. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Whoa. Um, turn up the volume here. Got it. The, um, that rancidity of a, of a bad coffee bean makes a beer taste like dog shit. Basically. Right. It's awful. Very bad, yeah terrible and, and that's and, the problem like there's so many beers and once you figure it out like i want to tell everybody out there like once you figure out like that green pepper is a bad flavor you're gonna start picking it out oh yeah in more coffee beers and you'll you'll understand you'll understand but you're also going to hate life because the problem with that is that there's <laughs> so many coffee beers out there and people don't understand that that oil goes rancid very quickly and it's almost like a, like whenever you see coffee in a beer or you see coffee like in a bottle or even at a brewery, you, look, you kind of look at it and you're like, okay, how – you're going to think to yourself, how old is the beer? When was it brewed? Right. How long has it been sitting there? Am I going to get a green pepper bomb? Please no, please no, please no. And those and are valid questions. Those are questions you, you absolutely should be asking. Yep. Yeah. How long has this been sitting here? Because if it's been sitting there a long time, yeah, don't touch it. Avoid, avoid, abort. Don't touch it. Right. Abort. Don't, yeah, don't even try abort. it because it's gonna. Yeah, it'll ruin your night. Unless yeah. you like green pepper, I don't know. You know, if you enjoy green pepper in your beer, have at it. But for me, no, I'm good. Uh, Statchel says, "Drink fresh on tap." Absolutely. But the problem is, so here's where, here's where kind of like the the crux happens, right? Coffee barrel aged beer. So people are like, hey, let's make some amazing kick-ass coffee beer, and then we're going to barrel age it in a bourbon barrel for six months. During that barrel aging, okay. the oil, during the barrel aging, that coffee, or the oil in the coffee goes rancid. You have a major green pepper bomb, and they still sell it anyway. They don't care. You Most really, of these places don't well, you, care about it. You really kind of wonder, like, what, where is the, um, the tipping point? You know, in that is it but, six hold, months? Is it a year? You know what? Actually, no. Hold on, though. Let me let me let me rephrase your question. Instead of what's the tipping point, how, what's what do you do to add coffee to a beer to make it taste okay for a couple months? Do you add like coffee, coffee? Do you not go the bean route? Do right. you have to overly roast to them to not make it give off this oil? Or grounds? Do you not roast them? Do you use grounds? Right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you use grounds. I, I, I would be opposed to using grounds. Or even like a, I, I'm sure some people use yeah, it. Hold, hold on, though. I'm sure some people use an extract, though, too. You know? Coffee extract? There, there's all kinds of wild things that you can think of. You know, and people dog on that. They're like, oh, coffee extract. I wouldn't put an extract in the beer that I make. I'm going to tell you this right now. There are so many there's so many breweries out there that put extract in beers and these people don't even know it. If you're into microbrews, you have had a beer with, <laughs> with an, an extract. extract. 
And he didn't even know it. And you like, probably didn't know it. Banana? How do they how do they pump so much banana into this beer? It was it's a banana extract. extract. Exactly. And, and and same thing with vanilla. So what a lot of people don't understand. Patrick says Barrel Buddies. What's up, dude? Woo. Welcome, Patrick. Welcome, Patrick. Um that's a big that's a big thing. So one one major ingredient that goes into most like barrel aged beers is vanilla. Everybody here is like, oh, it's a vanilla stout, it's a vanilla yeah. IPA, it's a vanilla whatever. Madag- There's very few places that make legit vanilla beans. Madagascar vanilla beans, you know? Where else do you know where vanilla beans come from? Madagascar, right? Yep. Vanilla beans are expensive. Yep. Any of you go right now online and look up vanilla beans, and they're not cheap. Madagascar is a long ways away. That, that too. <laughs> but point being is that vanilla beans, most of these brewers are not using Madagascar vanilla beans for a beer. They're getting that good old vanilla extract from Kroger or Albertsons or Smith's or the Piggly Wiggly or, where else, what am I missing? The Ralph's or the... I think I hit all the major grocery stores in the entire United States. Mm -hmm. They're getting getting vanilla extract. Yeah, it's from the Big Lebowski. You don't, you know, it is what it is. This will not stand, man. This, this aggression will not this stand. This aggression will not stand, man. I just noticed Michael yes. uh, put a sick face when it cam- comes to... Uh, green some, pepper. Yeah, green pepper. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, Mike, that is a barfy thing. I remember, like, dude. I've been... I've, and, and here's the thing. We're telling you about it now, and if you've, if you've ever had a coffee beer, you're going to go back now and have another coffee beer, and you're going to pick out that green pepper taste, and you're going to be like, fuck. These guys were right. Yeah. There is a obvious green pepper taste in this beer. And, and it's wrong. Down the drain. And it's wrong. <laughs> like if, if someone like if, and also like if you if you see a beer, like a description that says hints or trails of green pepper, that means it, that it's gone bad. Yeah, green pepper is never a positive flavor profile. Yeah. The brewer or who are whoever it was, they they'll taste it and they'll say you know what? Maybe people that like green pepper will enjoy this. No. Wrong. Don't do that. No. Yeah, no. Don't fall into the yeah, Don't fall for that. Don't fall for it. That is a bad coffee beer. It's a bad coffee beer. Coffee beers are great. And I know a lot of you are here for whiskey, but we're, we're just pivoting a little bit because we like to pregame with a beer. So for those that don't know us in person, uh, for our we, we actually have quite a few people with us tonight, that we like to kind of... Uh, so we usually have our show around 7 o'clock Pacific, uh, and then usually around 6 o'clock, us three get together, we tip back a few beers to kind of, you know, get us ready, talk about the show, you know, most, I guess you'd say podcasts, vlogs, whatever you want to call it, to do this. Yeah. Uh, we usually sample our offerings that we're going to have, and we kind of talk about what we're going to talk about during the show. And we had these beers tonight, and I was like, why don't we talk about these beers tonight? Because yeah. I think... Um, the beers we're having tonight are really good. And it is the Barrel Buddies. It's Barrel Buddies. Not the so, barrel barrel buddies. you know, I mean, it's Barrel Buddies. Barrel we, buddies. we talk about anything aged in a barrel here on this show. Which is so. a very vast, I mean, there, there, there's an expanse of things that we can talk <laughs> about, you know? But. So, can we get into, to maybe Joyride, Joy Anniversary then? Oh, Actually, yeah. I, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't because we don't have any left. Ah, it's a drink right now. Ooh. But I would like to get into our whiskeys of the night. Because I would like to say we have a literal homegrown special as one of our offerings tonight. That uh, this is my first experience with this distillery. I've only smelt it. He's only, Zach's only smelt it. <laughs> BJ's had the, the, uh. I've had the straight bourbon. The it's straight good. bourbon. Uh, I'm just going to jump right in. Out of Fallon, Nevada. Everyone's yeah. like, Fallon, Nevada? Northern Where Nevada. is Fallon, Nevada? BJ, can you give us a little Fallon, Nevada description? I would love to. So uh, I'm a Reno native, and Fallon is about an hour southeast from Reno. And if you've ever made the trip from Reno to, to Vegas or Vegas to Reno, you've probably driven through Fallon. It is a, uh, it's a farming community. Uh, not terribly big, but uh, lots of alfalfa fields as far as you can see. And 
Yeah, Fallon. It's also where the Fallon Naval Air Station is. So if you've seen Top Gun, then uh, the Top Gun Naval Air School is in Fallon, Nevada. It's not in. It's not in Southern California like Top Gun would make you think. It's in Fallon. BJ, do they play volleyball in Fallon? Homoerotic volleyball is run rampant. And you can do the you can do the Top Gun high five, right? Heck yeah! Like this here. Boom. That's it. That was it. Do one more time. A pie Boom. Down, down low. low. That's it. We'll stand up and do it one of these days. Anyway, we have today from the one and only Frey Ranch. Let's see if we get a little focus on that. Maybe, maybe not. Auto so focus. That yeah, we're thinking we could do a little auto focus. Anyway, that is Frey Ranch. This is their straight rye whiskey, non-chill filter, distilled from 100% slow-grown winter rye. Why? Frey Ranch is out of Fallon. They grow everything out of Fallon. This is not MGP juice, as we've talked about in other shows, where it's Midwestern grain products made out of Indiana. This is bread grown distilled and bottled in the good old state silver state of nevada <laughs> that's amazing that is really amazing and i'm gonna tell you right now this this aroma uh this grassy alfalfa this is blowing me away right now after it's i open so this good. bottle first of all this bottle is a beast like this it's is like beast. a glass like, I, I don't know how they can really sustain this quality of bottle. It's, like, su- it's super heavy. I mean, what what is that? What is that like uh, empty, DJ? It's so, yeah, last night I got to go in. We went in and my father-in-law and I finished the street whiskey. And uh, an empty, that thing is a beast. That is a Mexican boxing glove. I'm That's keeping this. Company. Like, I will hold on to this. This it's bottle... It's almost like a like a freaking. It's de- like a decanter. I was gonna say yeah. that, yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, it's- and, and hold on, like they do this. So here's the stopper, which um, that stopper is fire. But hold on, I'm gonna give them minus points for the faux cork. Oh. They don't use real cork. This is like that spongy, cheap hey, shit. It's sustainability, man. It's all about saving the planet. These okay. Days. Uh, this Frey Ranch, they 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 use like metal. I don't know if you can see that. It's a metal stopper, and it's heavy. Like, this is probably, like, six, seven ounces alone. Yeah. yeah. Like, look at this. And it's all metal. The whole thing is it's a giant chunk of metal. That's heavy for a stopper. Feel that. Oh, yeah. That's real deal. So I'm excited about cheap. this ride. Yeah. Because, again, drinking the straight, I mean, it's so earthy and grassy, and then there was a ton of great heat. On this, so this rye, listen, I love rye. I love that that spicy rye. So I cannot wait to get into this time. Uh, hold, so why don't we let Zach read the back of the bottle? I, I don't even know what it says. I'm just gonna like we usually read the bottle. So yeah, Zach, exactly. Zach, why don't you jump right in? What, it, wow. what does it say? <laughs> This is quite the story. All right, here we go. Here's the story, folks. All right, my journey starts with the love of growing grains in a sustainable way here on the ranch. Over 1,500 acres in the Lake Tahoe watershed. Every time I step onto this land, I can feel the generations before me. I've tilled the soil, planted the seed, and grown the grain specifically for making a rye whiskey unlike any other. Made from 100% winter rye, sustainably grown right here on the Frey Ranch. Uh, by Colby Frey. Colby Frey, it's wow. Mr. Frey. That is we're gonna, really we're cool. Go here. Listen. Hey, he <laughs> said it says on the back of the bottle, "Come visit us." I think that's an open invitation. We are gonna go. Listen, I've been talking about taking you guys up to Northern Nevada for a weekend and doing some Virginia City and some Lake Tahoe. This is batch number one. I, I, I think is, we're going. I think it's time for a on location barrel buddies. I think we need an on location barrel buddies episode. You know, we we need to <laughs> we need to talk to Colby. Listen, Zach, you're our PR guy. Get this get this set up. Hey, oh wow! Up. Look who look we got. Hello there. Absolutely. Yes, you did. Absolutely. Jillian said, "Did I join?" Yes, you did, Jillian. Welcome to the party. Welcome, Jillian, from the East Coast as well. 
We have some see we have some multiple East Coast representation tonight on our live show. That's great. Excellente. Let's get into Frey Ranch. I am super excited about this. Wow. What you, are you I, I, I'm smelling a field right now. This is like that grassy, like alfalfa, alfalfa, beans. like fresh hay, like hay, oh, like horse you're like, hay. Like you're on the you're on the farmstead, you know? Wow! And that and then I'm getting like a, I'm getting sweet. I'm getting like on the back end. I'm getting like a sweet melon. Is it honey? I'm getting like a melon honey. You know, a lot of uh, what is it? Um, smoke wagon has a little honey to it, right? Uh, Patrick says they need a barrel proof. Oh, Patrick, I'm going to tell you right now, you are 100% right. Well, this is number one, right? Like the one of the first batches? So this is a straight rye. What what ABV is this, 50? We're finding out. One moment, please. Let's see. Look. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I am not seeing We're that. checking. We're bottle checking here. We're validating what ABV this is. Why am I not seeing this? Here, maybe you can see it. Open your eyes. 50%. 50%, 50% alcohol. 50%. Get your finger out of my face. I thought you just pointed at it. I'm, I'm going to be honest. So, Jillian asks, is this East Coast farm hay or Midwest hay? Wow. Oh, this is that's Nevada. Quite, this, this is, is Nevada, Nevada hay. hay. Nevada hay. This is West Coast hay. Right. Northern Nevada hay. I've never been to Northern Nevada. I, I'm going to be honest with you. I have not been to Northern Nevada. So, I think, I think our first... And we thought it was going to be Smoke Wagon where we no, would. No, it's going to be Frey Ranch. We thought our first on premise distillery show was going to be from Smoke Wagon. I think we're going to uh, mm-hmm. to Frey, Frey Ranch. Yeah. Dude, I'll drive. This smells. This is beautiful. This is so. Cheers. Cheers, friends. Cheers, everyone out Cheers. there. Cheers to the audience out there. If you're about to join us, Frey Ranch. This is our Frey Ranch. And oh, it's it's spectacular. Hundred percent produced. Jillian Nevada. Jillian asks, do they have hay in Nevada? They it, they do in northern Nevada. There's a lot of ranches and farmland in northern Nevada. All right, here goes. Hold on, I haven't had it yet, so shut up, BJ, because I see your reaction. <laughs> That's hard to pick out those flavors. I mean, I, I, I taste field again. I mean, super. There is, that's got a punch to it. What'd you say? It's got some heat. For 50%, it's got some heat. So for, so I, I hate to, so I'm going to be a little critical. That's for, the point of the show, man. That's the point of the show. We're very honest and we all have varying opinions. For 50%, um, it has more heat than I expected and in a bad way. So I think it has, yeah. So I think it has a stringent alcohol, a stringent ethanol, okay. not good ethanol. Like, you know where you get that ethanol and we've talked about this in prior shows where we've had yeah. an, we, we've had an ethanol kick where we're like, Ooh, it's got this really mellow ethanol. Yeah. No, to me, this is a immature rubbing alcohol punch up front which i don't like why don't we let it sit out just we're gonna let it sit out i mean it's 50 percent give it a swirl we're i'm gonna get we're gonna do we're gonna do a little swirl here but i want to show some color i want to show some color to the the crew there it's a beautiful copper burnished copper look at that that's a beautiful color so i'll tell you what i i want to like this so i i'm gonna be critical thank you very much I want to like this. So BJ, BJ, um, the comparison, <laughs> ethanol, ethanol. Yeah, the comparison between the rye and what you had last night. Um, yeah, so maybe Statchel, it's very moped fuel. BJ, can you go into a little bit of the <laughs> the straight or not the straight, but the regular one, the straight whiskey? I guess yeah. they call it. Yeah, yeah. So the straight. Um, so I had it poured over ice. It was served to me poured over ice. There was no option, um, which was fine. I, I was actually really happy about that because I had drank. I'm not going to lie. I, I drank a lot last night. So by the time that got to me, I would probably drank half a bottle of 20% Tobin James Port. Um, wow. Which, 
Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so my palate was pretty well saturated. Sure. Um, but the thing I liked about the straight that I'm not getting in the rye is the straight much more sweet, grassy flavors. Hmm. Um, and, and not wheat or like field, but straight up like fresh cut grass, like when you mow the lawn. And um, I think that the, the, there was a bite. It was very bitey. Yeah. But in a way that I actually really liked. This has a little bit more. I, I agree with you on the uh, the immature alcohol content, that bitiness that's like. Yeah. It's, it's, it's almost unpleasant. Hey, Michael Brown. Hold on. Sorry. Michael Brown says, hey, dad. Hey, son. How you doing, Michael Brown? Who is Michael Brown? Michael Brown is my guy. Uh, this is a Emmy Award winning Michael Brown. For those that hey, don't Michael know, Brown? this is this is the legit Michael Brown. Well, Michael Brown. Yeah, we go way back. Me and Michael Brown. Well, you get Michael Brown. You got to tell me when you're coming out to Vegas next. Yeah, welcome to our show. Yeah, welcome to the show. But I need you to come back to Vegas. Hopefully, uh, our show will become a, a uh, an Emmy winning. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully, show. maybe we can have Michael Brown produce for our show. Right, he, he's on. an he's an Emmy winner. Sorry, Grammy. He just clarified. Grammy. I'm sorry, Michael oh, we Brown. Sing for that. Michael Brown is a Grammy award winning producer. So oh. maybe maybe we can ask you to produce our show, and then thus our show will become a Grammy. With a barrel buddies? by association, we could be a Grammy produced. What about what about the Barrel Buddies song? <laughs> what about the Barrel Buddies song? It's yeah, the so the barrel it's the barrel buddy. <laughs> Hanging out, drinking some whiskey, barrel buddies. Michael Brown says, COVID fucked his business. Yes, we need to drink. Uh, we're going to cheers to that, Michael Brown. Cheers to my Grammy award winning friend, Michael Brown, out there. We love you, man. When you eventually come back to Vegas, when business picks up, you're going to join us live on the show. We're all going to drink together. And we'll talk about that Grammy that you won. So, cheers. Heck yeah. And Frey Ranch, everybody that don't that does not know what we're drinking, because we had a few people join us. Oh, here we go. Bottle. Yeah, show it again. A few more people Frey joined Ranch. us today, so heavy, we are heavy little Frey Ranch, this heavy motherfucker yeah. uh, from Fallon, Nevada. This is a little local. It's like a workout, just picking that thing up. Jillian asks, isn't the whole state of Nevada under quarantine? Uh, so, you know, you can kind of say that about every state, I guess, in the United States. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, every, everyone's, everyone's got to wear a mask. Um, but no, we're out and about. We're out and about. Um, I wouldn't say that we're phase one, as most people call it. Um, right. bars have closed back down, but they've, um, they've come up with this really witty way of circumventing being closed. Yeah. If they sell food. If they sell food. So most of our local bars are selling a hot dog for a dollar or a <laughs> bowl of chips for a dollar. That's amazing. And you can still go in and act like a fool without a mask. Right. Yep. There you go. If they have tables, right? If they have tables. I think, I think, it's, I think, so. it's, the, I think it's only the bar top that they have to close, right? If I'm, am, am I uh, It's only the bar top they have to close. So. Yeah, because I've walked into a couple of places and uh, yeah, I think – yeah, like PTs, they have tables. Yeah. PTs, absolutely. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you guys right now, and we don't have too many people here, but rumor mill is that our governor is kicking around closing the casinos again. Ah, no. That's yep. that's bad. That's yep. insane. That that is insane. Uh, and I say that because Dr. Burks, most people know Dr. Burks, um, said some shenanigans this morning that Hey, everybody, here are the top 10 states of the most COVID cases. I highly recommend these state governors figure out some plan of action. And unfortunately, Vegas was number eight on that list. Yeah. Boo. Boo. Boo, Dr. Burks. Boo to you. I got a special guest, Jimmy. Oh, who do we have? Who do we have over there? Oh, Tobias. <laughs> Hello, Toby. Tobias, it's always great to see you on the stream. Just so everyone knows, I've walked Tobias before and he prances. He's, he's a, a prancer. He's a little prancing dog. He's a little prancing. Is he a Shih Tzu? 
He's a Shih Tzu Poodle mix, so he's a Poo Shit or a Shit Poo, whatever you prefer. Whatever you I mean. like Shit Poo. The Shit Poo. I he's love a shit it. Poo. He's a Shit Poo. He's a so, little Shit anyways, Poo. Anyways, getting back to this really quick. <laughs> Frey Ranch. Sorry, we've really derailed. From our Grammy friends to our Dr. Burks closing the city. It's like a variety show. It's to okay. Tobias. It's a, and vari- now, it's a variety show that centers around barrel aged spirits. It's a variety show, to his point. We're now back to the whiskey. Please, BJ, <laughs> jump in. Save us here. So all I would say is, is that this has got a little bit more bite, in my opinion, than the straight whiskey. Um, and I really think that's the right. But it smells. It smells so good, though. If you, if you, if it's got a great nose. It's been sitting out for a little longer. Uh, I've given it a, a little cheers. bit of a swirl. We're gonna cheers. Um, We're gonna cheers, everybody. Cheers. I, think, cheers. I don't. I don't know if I'm getting used to the ethanol or if it's opened up. Let's try it again. Jillian says, "I made it home from my walk home in the middle of the night, so I can stop harassing you guys." Well, th- so here's the thing, Jillian. The hope is is that you get home and then you just jump right back in. Exactly. Jump right back in the show because we're going to be here for at least another hour. Of course. Exactly. So, you know, the fun doesn't stop. Enjoy. As as, um, Responsible Gaming says in the casino, the fun doesn't stop. Exactly. This is the fun zone. It's the fun zone. Barrel Buddies fun zone. Barrel Buddies fun zone. The fun does not stop here. Uh, So we just cheered, so I'm going to try this again. So we're going to see what we have here. And then I think we need to cut it because I think if we cut it with a little water, you might change your opinion. Phenomenal idea. So hold on. No, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Stop the press. I get, I, I, I'm, I'm getting honey out of this. What are you, what are you getting? I'm going to take it. A, I'm going to take it a step further. I'm getting honey dew. Honey I'm dew. getting massive honeydew. Interesting. I agree. Okay. I'm getting a peppery honeydew. And I know that sounds kind of like what? Peppery honeydew? Yeah, that's a good description. Well, different different uh, portions of your tongue taste different things. Like the, yeah. the front will taste something different than the back will. You right? know, I'm going to go a little further and I'm going to tell you honeysuckle. I think there's a floral element here that I would attribute to maybe some honeysuckle. Like, so I, I jump a step further and say I get like a grassy honeydew hay. Yeah. Maybe a honeysuckle pepper. Fl- like a honeysuckle flare. But at the end of the day, I'm going to throw this out there to everybody. A lot, a lot of pepper up front again. So, so again, for those that are just joining us, because we have fight f- quite a few more people, this is our the Frey Ranch uh, straight rye that we're drinking. Pretty good. And uh, this Dude. was only fifty bucks. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you guys. The steal. For fifty dollars for Frey Ranch, for the complexity that we're getting out of this, this is really tasty. Yeah. Great. Distilled. Aged and barrel, yeah, and like bottled like here in bottled, Nevada. bottled in Nevada, Nevada, grown in Nevada. Batch. A, this is batch number one. That's why you get at fifty percent. That's why you get that, guys. If you and I know, and I know, and I know, it's it's going to be tough for a lot of our our friends on the East Coast to get a hold of, but for like Statchel and Jillian and some of our some of our East Coast friends. We'll chat after the show. I am more than happy to send out some tasters. And the only caveat with sending out a tasters. taster, I send two ounce tasters to a lot of our friends. Here's the caveat, though. You got to join us on FaceTime as a guest for our next show. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, we can do multiple. Yeah. And we're more than willing to send out tasters. So we'll talk afterwards. So Michael Brown is asking, what's the comparison between Frey Ranch and Bullet? Interesting comparison. I haven't had Bullet. Have you? Really? You haven't had Bullet? How's that possible? Maybe I Bullet have. Bullet's like a mixer in everything okay, nowadays. Okay, 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 okay. No, no, no. That's, not not listen, Okay, so I haven't had I haven't had Bullet's had, only good for a mixer. Okay, so I haven't had Bullet neat then. Okay. I've probably had it like You've probably a, had it in a cocktail. Yeah, exactly. So I'm going to, I'm going to say this. I'm going to chime in first before I know BJ looks like he has some comments. 
Like, bullet, bullet used to be used to be my go-to for old fashions. I I would like that's like I would literally keep a handle of bullet around like a one point seven five, uh for for bullet because, uh it was money it was so good. I have since then discovered Elijah Craig. And I, and have moved on from Bullet to Elijah Craig as my old fashioned go to. And we had an Elijah Craig. We show had our Elijah Craig ago. show a couple weeks ago, which money, Elijah Craig show. money, money, money. If you haven't watched it, refer back to the Elijah Craig show. Go watch it on our channel. 100%. Wow, that's the most underrated. I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I want to have another Elijah Craig show just to drink more Elijah Craig. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and what what? I mean, one of the great things about that, it's great, neat. Jillian says she doesn't have time for that commitment. I'm going to tell you this. Then you don't get a taster from us. So I I don't know what to tell you. Jillian, you do. You have time. You have time. Even We don't expect you to stay for the full show. 30 minutes, you jump on, you share the taster with us, and you're done. And that, that goes for everybody. Anybody that wants to join us. All of us, all three of us, are more than willing to ship out a taster to any of you. I um, went on Amazon and kind of went overboard and bought like 50 two-ounce tasters. So I'm more than willing to send it out to some of our friends out there in the audience. And uh, definitely join us. It's a group effort. It's group fun. You taste it. You either love it, you hate it, but we talk about it. And that, and that's the we great thing. It together, right? you know? And so here's the thing. There's three of us here. We all have... Huge varying opinions on everything we drink. We 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 rarely true. Um, we rarely like align to our like flavor profiles, but we do kind of have a general consensus. Is that fair to say, guys? Yeah, like, exactly. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the thing. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you right now that bullet. I'm not even sure I would use it. I wouldn't keep it in my house. So I got a big bottle of. And I drink, we drink through it. We drink it really fast, but I actually took it to a social club that I belong to. And I was like, here guys, we're going to drink this. And they were like, this is great. Yeah. And I was like, cool. I'm not even sad about this. Um, I'm not a big fan. I've never been a big fan of Bullet. I think it's got a ton of bite. I think it's like, Bullet is, is the whiskey or bourbon for people who think, yeah, that's a bourbon that should kick you in the mouth. Those are the same people who say, I drink hoppy beer because that's a man's beer. <laughs> All beer should taste like hops. Right. Right. Yeah, and it, and it tastes like what you think that you're drinking. Yeah, it's weird. I um, agree. I, I'm not a big fan of Bullet, and I, I haven't been for a long time. Yeah, so Michael Brown, there's your answer. We're, we're kind of bullet. We're kind of shitting on Bullet. Uh, I'm going to tell you right now, if I had to give you my personal recommendation... Elijah Craig small batch, make an old fashioned will blow your mind. Oh yeah, and, and I the, think my my peers will agree. And the barrel no, proof. I'm going to disagree and say Elijah Craig barrel proof. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so if you can get your if you can get a hold of an Elijah Craig barrel proof at about sixty five to seventy dollars a bottle, worth worth, it, worth the money. Worth it. worth it. Worth the money. I mean, like a like a, a bullet. Or I'm sorry, a barrel proof is. It's basically the, the the small batches big brother. So why, yeah, why don't we go into that? Why don't we why don't we go into what a barrel proof is for some of our audience out there? What is it? What's a barrel proof? Well, I know that the uh, the small batch is it's kind of a subjective term, right? Nothing really official where it's a blend. Right? Could be like a 4 to an 8 to a 12, right? Here, I'm going to give you guys the easiest story. Well, for Michael. Most Bourbons, especially Bullet, Blanton's, anything anything called small batch, because small batch is just kind of like a hipster term used to make not it so a... Small, right? It's not really small. It's still hundreds of thousands of gallons of whiskey. It's blend. But what they do is they have a guy, and the guy is like the master distiller. And what he does is... And I'm, I'm going to use Jack Daniels as like the most simplistic example Everyone here, I'm sure, has had Jack Daniels, right? That's Tennessee whiskey. Tennessee whiskey. Charcoal mellow. Okay, shut the fuck up. So, <laughs> je- so, so, so you just shut Right out of Knoxville. Can I fucking tell the story here? 
Or do we have another Jack Daniels comment? Continue. In the chat, do we have another Jack Daniels comment? Uncle Jack's special medicine. Okay. <laughs> We're done. Continue. Frank Sinatra drank two fingers of Jack what? every night. I actually saw the Frank Sinatra version of um, Jack Daniels the other day. Okay. Was okay. it really that great? Do you no, remember drinking stop. that? All right, shut up. <laughs> It was great because it said Frank Sinatra on it. I'm going to pivot. I'm going to use Blanton's. So everybody knows Blanton's. Everybody knows Jack Daniels. They're both two great examples of whiskeys and a bourbon. Zach's going to grab a bottle to show everybody. That is a Blanton's. Here's what happens, though. Does it have a horse on it? It has a horse on it. I want to punch you in the face. This one has an S. So here's the thing. When they're making these bottles... And and are, are sorry when they're when they're when they're bottling hundreds of thousands of gallons of whiskey at a time. You got to remember it all originates from a barrel. One barrel is only capable of producing between 150 and 200 bottles of whiskey. So what Blanton's and Jack Daniels does in their in their instances, they blend. They have a certain flavor profile that they want to meet, right? Like, this is what Jack Daniels should always taste like. This is what Blanton's should always taste like. So what they do is, is that they get a couple different barrels, they mix it in a fucking vat, and then some guy comes up and he's like, does a, puts a little, little stopper in his mouth. He's like, hmm, yes, I think this tastes exactly like... Does he do it with, a, like, a ladle? I don't, like I don't know if he uses a ladle or a paper cup or just scoops his hand in there. I don't know. We Does he should... wear a monocle and I, have a stinky eye? I will find out. He's not Mr. Peanut. You know what? I'm going to find out. I will find out. Anyway, listen to me. They blend it. How do you so do they this? take a bunch of these barrels. They mix them all into a gigantic vat. And some rando guy walks over and he scoops it up. In whatever method, if it's, with, if it's with his hand, it's a ladle, it's or it's a ladle, yeah, like or a it's a little bottle, so it or it's a little, it's a little whatever. What if it's a? <laughs> oh, what if it's a straw? But it, maybe a straw. No straw? Yeah. <laughs> Puts a straw in and just goes. Let me it. just finish. <laughs> Michael Brown says he probably uses his wiping hand. I'm <laughs> sure he does. Is it the right or the left? <laughs> I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. That's your dominant hand. Jillian's right? asks, what's the letter? I don't know what the letter is. That oh, it was an S. Oh, an Jillian. S, Jillian. That's it's yeah, an S. I, I don't know how many how many letters do you think you have? Have you uh I'm pretty we ask this question every We week. ask it every show. I know, but it's interesting, isn't it? I, I'm sure eight, by now we can, we can spell Blanton's and we need to just send in the little horsies and get our gift get from, 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 from Buffalo Trace. But let me go back. Let's go back to mixing. All right. So, guys, yeah, hear me guy, out. Yeah, and the guy d- drinking the, the, the whiskey with the ladle. Yes. Stop it. So, stop. Like Starbucks. No, not like Starbucks. Jillian says like no. Starbucks. No. He's like, he's like a whiskey psalm. He wears the cup. Neck. <laughs> he wears the cup oh, around his I hope neck. So. I would. I would really. <laughs> and then also the medal too, right? The medallion. The medallion. The whiskey saw medallion. Yes. That's very controversial. We don't want to get into that. So, anyways, they blend it. They say it tastes like the thing, and they go, "This is small batch." Small so batch. they blend it. That's the key word. They blend a bunch of barrels, and then they actually proof it down. So whenever you hear the word proofing down, that means they literally water it down. So when a bunch of these barrels go into a vat and that guy comes over with his cup or his wiping hand or whatever apparatus he uses to taste it, he's like, he's like, okay, this is good. Now proof it down. So when they proof it down, they take water and turn it from, say it was 60% alcohol to their base, which is what they offer, their everyday offering. So what you don't know is that, well, most people probably know this, Blanton's is 45% alcohol. Jack Daniels, pretty much the same. So what they do is, every barrel is different in the, in the, in the Rick house. Every barrel, if it's up high, if it's down low, if it's in the middle, if it's aging for two years, three years, whatever, when it gets mixed in that batch, their goal 
is to get a 45 per proof alcohol, sorry, 45% alcohol that's blended together, that's cheap, and that they taste it and the guy's like, yep, it's classic Jack Daniels, bottle it and get it out. Jillian says, yes, it is. They make sure all bean, beans taste the same. Exactly. It's exactly the it. The more you know. The more you know. All right, so there you go. So back to barrel proof. So barrel proof, barrel proof, or straight from the barrel, is a term you'll hear with a lot of bourbons and whiskeys out there where they take one barrel and they bottle it. And we're very lucky because in Las Vegas, we have the Smoke Wagon Distillery. Everybody, let's start chanting Shout Smoke Wagon. Shout, Shout out, out to Smoke Wagon. Smoke our, fr- our friends at Smoke Shout Wagon, it. we love you. And look at this smoke, smoke Wagon, the latest and greatest Woo Chili. Woo! That's a Woo <laughs> Chili. That's a Woo Chili bottle, which we'll do on another show. But Smoke Wagon, that's straight from the barrel not messing around, you get what you get, and whatever alcohol percentage they throw in the bottle. So Elijah Craig does barrel proof, where it's from a single barrel, and they write on it, they write it on here, and I don't know if we can... The barrel, it. the rick? Here, let's see if you can get uh, get that in focus. Yeah, maybe not. Anyway, there's some, there's some, like, gold pen on there. So it says, it's uncut, uncut, which means no water added, Straight from the barrel, 61.1%. It's proof 122 proof, and it's batch B519. (gasps) So for those that don't know, batches on Elijah Craig, the number is the first digit is the month, and the second digit is a year. So for this is batch B519, this is from May 2019. There you go. Oh, hey, we can kind of see it there. There, there you go. You can see it. Where did where'd you pick that up? I was lucky enough to grab this at Liquor Outlet here locally in Warm, on Warm Springs. And this is one of my favorites. And if you want to make a really high-end old-fashioned, you use Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, and it's life-changing. Yeah, small batch and, and barrel proof. I mean, both of them go well hand-in-hand. Hand. Actually, did we do a comparison... Um, for the old fashioned, the small batch versus the barrel proof. Hold on, uh, Jillian's asking Statchel if we should do our own whistle pig show. Hold on a second. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hello. I'm gonna show Hello. you guys probably one of the best whistle pig bottles that Woo! we have here in the collection. Woo-hoo! For those that don't know, this side or that side, whichever side, he's got it. Our wonderful friends at Liquor Lineup. Shout out to Liquor Lineup here in Vegas. Created the best hangover barrel select single barrel 10 year rye whiskey with the guys right there. That's amazing. on the bottle. The hangover dudes, <laughs> yeah. the hangover guys, and this tastes amazing. So, for those who don't know, if you can't see it, that's from the hangover, and we got all of our guys right on there. Very cool. Look at that. Yeah, so don't worry about setting up your own whistle pig show. We got one coming. Oh, don't you worry. We have so much whistle pig. Uh, it'll blow your mind. And this pig one, pig. this one is a 10-year uh, single barrel rye coming in at 110 proof. Straight out of Woo. Vermont, 55.4%. We'll do our whistle pig show soon, but I want to get a hold of one of the samurai, like one of the big dog whistle pigs, which I'm working on. Wait. So. We're working on it. So, getting back to this, uh, to this fray ranch. Back to the fray. You know, it's kind of funny. Fray. You know, it's interesting. You guys ready I, to cut this or what? I think. You know, I've been kind of smelling this, sipping on it a little bit. Like the ethanol is starting to go away as it uh, as it breathes. You know, but I am totally ready to uh, to give it a little cut. Hey, Patrick, what do you think of this uh, Free Ranch rye? Have you had the rye yet? Let us know in the chat there. Chat, typey, typey. Yeah, All right, BJ, little... what do you say? Do, so a little, I, do, do a little capper? I did a little cap of water. 
Um, I wasn't a fan. Oh, real? I didn't like the cut. I, I like it without added water. All right. So how does the uh, the flavor change, do you think? Um, well, I think it loses the bite. And what you get is, I think that acrid, bitter flavor that James was talking about earlier in that young um, alcohol flavor, I think yeah, that becomes more prevalent. It I just think that really cuts through. It enhances it. It's not good to cut it. It is not yeah. good to cut it. No, I don't think it becomes alcohol Like, I don't think it's, like, alcohol Yeah. But that bittery, like, young alcohol flavor. Right. Um, without the bite, really comes through. It becomes a flavor profile that I'm not a big fan of. And I think it mutes the other flavors. Like, those really great um, melon, honeydew, honey, earthy flavors that we were talking about. I think they get really muted, adding a little water. Uh, so I, uh, it's my opinion that the Frey Ranch rye uh, goes uncut. Serve that neat. Don't add, don't add water. Don't add ice. Definitely. I mean, like uh, you know, with a with a, a lot of the other bourbons that we've uh, we've cut before, you know, it changes the the flavor profile. Uh, it gives it a better mouth, a different mouth feel. Uh, yeah. Different flavors, you know, come yeah. out of it. Right. This just enhances. Um, yeah, like you said, the acrid um, alcohol taste to it. So, yeah, definitely um, I would say a no Don't to adding it. water to this. No, yep. yeah. Much better straight up, right from the bottle. I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of this rye. Just serve it right out of the So we, we cut it, and it tastes the way it tastes. Don't cut it. Don't, Don't cut, cut it. it. Yeah. I, I mean, you can try mine if you want. It's cut it for you, oh, this is your cut? It. So Zach cut it. I'm going to try his. Yeah. I don't yeah. think you're going to like it. The review is probably going... Sorry, I shouldn't say anything. Have your own opinion. Ooh. Ooh. That's bad. That's a bad... Yeah. Don't cut it. It's a bad face. Nope. Don't cut it. Yeah, the right, earthy... Yeah, the, the, like the, the grainy taste and everything. Like the, the alfalfa. It all goes away and it all turns into... Like, yeah. this is like shot kind of alcohol, you know? It's just something that you want to throw back and not even taste. Don't cut it, cheers. Don't cut it. So, let me ask you, I think we're I think we're finishing up on this, and I'm getting real excited for what our second bottle is. Oh, today. we, got, we, a got, big, a we big, got a big second bottle as our finale, friends. We got a big second bottle, and I'm excited to get into it. So, I want to, I wanna, James, on your, uh, on your scale of 1 of 10. Yep. Uh, where would you... You rate this? What would you give this? So this was my first Frey Ranch experience, and as you all know from our previous shows, I am hyper critical, to say the least, of all of our offerings. Um, I'm gonna give Frey Ranch Rye because I haven't had the straight whiskey yet. A seven out of ten. Seven. That is respectable. It's a respectable seven out of ten. And, and, and in my personal opinion, anything above a six is, I would, I would approach again. So anything under a six, I'm, I would not go look for or drink again. Uh, so why don't we jump to you, BJ? What, 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 is your, what are your thoughts, one to ten here? So I, listen, you probably don't know this about me. I know our viewers don't know, know this about me, but I love Rise. I'm a big rye fan. I love rye whiskey. Um, I like that spicy flavor. I think it's a good character in a lot of whiskey. Um, and I like the burn that it adds. I think it's, a, again, a really cool character. I think it adds a lot of complexity. Um, as far as rye, as this rye goes, um, I have the benefit of having the straight whiskey. And, uh, and I think that's kind of unfair. For me, uh, I love their straight whiskey. I'd give their street whiskey a nine. I mean, wow. Whoa, a nine? I mean, wow. I street we, get a, a nine. Well, we need to try. Really? We need to have like a Frey Day then because yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't think a whole lot of people like the uh, the ride. That's whiskey. like, that's a big deal to give it, give it a nine. The straight. The rye. I mean, that's like a. The go on. rye. What do you give the rye? I give the rye a seven. 
Welcome uh, to the club, my friend. Yeah, I mean, it's it's good. It's a respectable number. Um, I know this is going to come off as maybe controversial. I like Jack Daniel rye better. I think it's a better rye. I, I've had better ryes. Victor's rye, I think, is a better rye. Um, That's fair. Uh, you know, it's it's okay. You know, it's okay. I, I think that there's. I think it, I think that um, they need to stick to what they're good at. And I'm going to tell you, Frey Ranch. You're very good at your straight whiskey. This rye is respectable. It's batch number one. I'd be really interested to see what you're going to do with batch number two. Obviously, for your first batch, this is very respectable. I'd drink it again. There's no reason that I wouldn't go buy this, but uh, I'd only give this a seven. It's okay. It's okay. Fair enough. That's great. All right, Mr. Zach, what's your verdict? So the, the nose on this is amazing. I will say. Yeah. The nose on it's spectacular. It, it smells like the prairie. It smells like <laughs> the grass. prairie. It's, I like that. Yeah, it smells like alfalfa. It smells like the earth. I love it. Yeah. Um, I haven't drank a whole lot of rye, to be honest with you. I don't know much about rye. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll have to, you know, kind of learn a little bit more and expand my palate sure. on that. Sure. And I really, really, really want to try the the straight whiskey that uh, BJ has had. So, so that way yep. we can do like a side by side and say, oh, okay, this is what you know the bread and butter is. Maybe this is you know their their new thing. Yeah, I don't know how long has Bray Ranch been around for. This year, they're oh, like, wow. <laughs> they're brand new. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, all right. So, what's your one to ten? One to so ten off the I ride. will say, you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I'll, I will go along with you guys. Uh, it's a seven. Uh, I'll give it a seven. It's. I mean, the, it, there it is, folks. It is hot. But the, the, the thing that I don't like about it is you can't cut it. You can't cut it. It doesn't taste good. Okay. You cut it. That's fair. And it loses That's all fair. of its flavor, to be honest with you. But maybe it's not made to be cut. Right. Frey Ranch. Right. Maybe, maybe Colby will tell us this is the way it's meant yep. to be drank. And there you have it, folks. We're giving Frey Ranch rye, batch number one, a unanimous. Seven overall. Seven out of ten. Which... Out of for us, us three, that's a okay. Yeah, so um, triple seven is a great segue into the next whiskey. Triple seven, and then BJ, do you want to do a little intro, and then maybe I can jump in. Uh, yeah, Jillian, yeah. Jillian in the chat says Zach hasn't changed one bit. So there you go, Zach. Ah, we're gonna give you a little, a little heart there out there for Zach. Hey, Jillian, how are you? All right, so why don't we go into this? This is big, folks. We're going to jump right in because I'm so excited about Tumbling Dice. I know nothing tumbling about this dice. except for... Except tumbling for, Dice! I know nothing about this except for the label, and it's great. But not only is this regular Tumbling Dice bourbon whiskey, this is Liquor World's special yeah, store pick. Lovely Las Vegas. We got Tomblin Dice, the liquor Woo! Store pick. <laughs> that's Woo! a big one. Whatever. All right. So let's talk that's a little bit. I don't. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know. So Deadwood Distillery is where Tumbling Dice comes from. Where's uh, that? So they are. It's MGP juice. So for those that don't know, that is Midwestern Grain Products. We've talked about it in our previous shows. That is straight out of Indiana. Uh, it is an aged whiskey that people go bananas over. MGP, people love it. Um, a lot of these like one-off distilleries in all these random cities get MGP juice imported. They barrel it in their own unique whatever. They bottle it and sell it. And there you go. Tumbling Dice by Deadwood is one of the big players right now with MGP Juice. These guys are out of Bardstown, Kentucky. Uh, it's distilled in Indiana because it's MGP Juice, but it's bottled by Proof and Wood Ventures in Bardstown, Kentucky. The mash bill is 36% rye, 60% corn, and 4% barley. And this was a store pick. So for those that don't know what a store pick is, so what Deadwood 
or Tumbling Dice does is that they send Liquor World, shout out to Matt and my buddies out and Chris, my buddies out in Liquor World, they send a sample kit. So they send anywhere from like three to five single barrel little vials um, of like a single barrel pick of this stuff, this juice, to these guys. And what they do is they get this sample kit, right? And what they do is they, they sit there, they sample it, they bring in some of their friends, they sample it, they decide on whatever the best is out of that, and then they bottle it. And then usually what happens is the liquor store puts some fucking cool stickers on it. So, like, these guys obviously put their, that's their liquor world. They put a little liquor world sticker. But then they put another sticker, which actually has tasting notes. So this one is called Bourbon Bourbon. And what they say here on the sticker is, on the nose, buttercream apricot, sweet pastry dough, and they say it's a palette of baked fruit, juicy mint, and baked goods. And then this says it's a ni- nice, tight, defined structure. Hmm. I'm going to tell you right now, people in the Las Vegas whiskey drinkers and collectors group, shout out to LVWDCC, they've been going bananas about this. Um, it's readily available. Tumbling dice. Go to Liquor World. It's super tasty. We're going to drink it tonight. Have you had this before? I have not. No, I I have not had it before. It's my first try of the Tumbling Dice. And here's our cheers. Here's our toast, friends. Toast, friends. Cheers. Cheers. Look at that. There's that color. There's that color. That is a good color. And it's an interesting red. It is. This is not copper. This is red. Jillian asks if it's apricot or apricot. I think it's apricot. Oh, ap. Apricot or apricot? It's apricot. You guys are from the West Coast. It's apricot. I'm gonna it's say apricot. it's it's apricot because we're on the West Coast. It's like what, what is it's it? like what cola. Is, what is it in and Ohio? Soda or pop and soda. What is it in the Midwest? Pop. No, no, no. Coke. Apricot. It's Coke. No, it's not. It's an apricot. Now back home we call it pop. Hey, what about I'm the apricot? Right now, get your nose into this right now. Get your nose into this. It smells like fresh baked pastries. It smells like donut chocolate. Doughy. It's doughy. It's doughy vanilla. Doughy vanilla. He said doughy vanilla. That's our new that's our new flavor profile. Doughy vanilla. Doughy vanilla. It's It's like Millie Vanilli, but doughy vanilla. If it's very pastry, it's it's doughy (laughs) vanilla. Am I right though? I mean like think about it. It's so good. Jillian says it's pop. Jillian, it's pop. Thank you for pop being with the, me. Pop is the sound. Wow, this is ridiculous. This is stupid. This is stupid. This smell is ridiculous. It smells like Dunkin' Donuts. So they said the pa- it's a it's on the nose. It's buttercream, apricot, sweet pastry dough, and then it's going to be a palette of baked fruit, juicy mint, and baked goods. And then a nice, tight, defined structure. So I'm, I'm going to try to... I can't wait to drink this. So cheers it out. Hell yeah. I want I want everybody to see, like, this is like... And this is a store pick. Like, I, I don't mean to throw this out there to our audience, but you're not going to be able to get a hold of this. I'm sorry. Like, this is... If, if you're in Vegas and you can get to Liquor World... Get one. Um, go to the location, uh, Liquor World on Paradise and Harmon and Trop and Koval... Didn't they have some at uh, Cactus or no? Yes. Cactus and the 15, they have this in stock. So for our audience members that want to go get some Tumbling Dice and haven't been to Liquor World yet, go to those locations we just mentioned. Cactus and the 15, Rainbow and the 215, or Koval and Paradise. You will be able to find a few more of these bottles left of the Liquor World. I'm glad I have two of them. So. Store pick. Heck yeah. Let's get into this. And here we go, friends. We're getting into it. Cheers. 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 I want everybody to look at the color. Beautiful copper. Very red. It's, it is super red. Red and coppery. Burnished copper. 
It's very Duncan like Jillian. It's very Duncan like Jillian's like, is it Duncan? It is. It's Duncan, yeah. Alright, so Oh. So smell Smell pastry. Vanilla y. I get vanilla pastry. But I get ethanol. I get a lot of ethanol. So All right, so hold on. Let me let me rewind. So we talked about this on the first show. We talked about and and we actually have quite a few people here with us tonight. How to take in a smell of a whiskey. There's a lot of people that like you smell something straight up and you're like, "What the fuck is this? I just smell alcohol," right? You're like, "This sucks. What the fuck is this?" What you need to do, and I've just we've all learned this recently, and we talked about it in our first show, is that your right. your olfactory senses, which are your you basically your nasal passages, every human being on the planet is different. Okay? And what happens is is that your olfactory senses from your left and right nostril to your brain where they analyze your the smells and interpret your smells, the distance is different. It varies based on the shape of your face, whatever. So the best way to analyze any, any smell is you go left to right, okay? You go left to right. And what you're going to find out is your left and right nostril get different smells Thank you. than if you just smelled it like straight ahead. Right. And open your mouth. Close your mouth. Open your mouth. Open breathe your mouth. Your breathe mouth. in. Yeah. Smell. Yeah. Left to right. Yeah. Flavor on your Jillian asked, how would you fools know what dunk smells like? All right. You listen here. We you live there. there. Yeah. I mean, you we know. lived there for like a month. <laughs> Actually, um, well, a month all, at one point in time. I think I made like, like five trips. You're talking point. to people that have been to the East Coast for an excessive, not only grew up on the East Coast, but then basically live in the same city you're in for at least a year. Hot take. Duncan sucks. More? Yeah, buddy. It's the worst. I like Duncan Donuts. Master Donuts in Las Vegas. Friendly Donuts in Henderson. Friendly Donuts, attaboy, or even Carl's. Friends. Carl's, Carl's. Carl's. Carl's is so good. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you haven't been out to, um, there's a new donut shop out on Blue Diamond next to a place called Omings that is just killer. Where? It's out on Blue Diamond next to a. I, I need to place. take some donuts to the crew tomorrow, so if you can recommend a spot. I'm going to text it to you. Send it over to you. All right, text it it's over. Killer. Thank so, you. So, in my left nostril, I get a lot of fruit. In my right nostril, I get a lot of bakery, a lot of bread. Left brain, right brain? Yeah. So, what do you guys think of the flavor? What are you getting on the flavor palette? We're not there yet. I took a drink of it, but um, hang on. I think that was kind of a premature thing. Yeah. So, so I'm smelling the uh, the fruit on the left. You said fruit on the left, bakery on the right, huh? Yeah, that's what I'm getting. Okay. I can go along my with brain, that. My brain works like that. Well, maybe my brain look, works like your brain. Maybe your guys' maybe your guys' brains are exactly the same. Oh, we could do a mind meld. You guys can can Vulcan mind meld. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> <laughs> Nerds! <laughs> Bunch of nerds! Nerds! <laughs> nerds. <laughs> Jones. All right, so. All right. So. I like this. I can't believe you guys haven't put this in your mouth yet. This is. Insane. I'm putting it in my mouth right now. That's what she said. Here we Mr. go. Mr. Pib, put it in your head. Let's go. Vanilla, cokey, like root beer? Cokey, like cocaine? Root beer? No. 
I don't get root beer, but vanilla and Coke, I, I like that. I like that cola. That's a good that's a good flavor profile, the vanilla cola. Hold on. Back it up. The smoothness. Like this is very super smooth. approachable. Oh, and the mouth feels so Yeah, amazing. let's talk about that. Don't even get into what it tastes like. Like I can give this to a to somebody that's never had a whiskey before, and they'll drink it, and it's and it's a uh, what is it? Um, wow! So I think it's got some burn at the end. I think the finish has got some bite, but in the mouth, very smooth, very creamy. I'm thinking, think creamy like a caramel chew, like a caramel taffy. Uh, like a saltwater taffy. Yeah. I get that yeah. too. I get yeah. so I get that saltwater taffy. I get the I get the buttercream. I know that that was kind of, you know, obvious, but I get that buttercream, doughy. Like a, I get a doughy. That's like on the uh, the tip of the tongue. Oh, yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's so Good. it's so approachable. Like I'm going to tell you guys right now, like everybody that's that's listening in, Tumbling Dice, if you're in Vegas and you don't have it yet, get the Liquor World store pick. Like, I'm going to throw it up here. Get the bourbon bourbon. Very good. Bourbon bourbon. I don't know why I thought root beer for some reason. No, no, no. Root beer is totally legit. Like, I see why you're getting that. Yeah. And that's kind of like an anise, that anise cream soda. Yeah. That's Jillian says I, that's what she said. I can't tell you how many times we've done a that's what she said here. That is what she, that said. Is what she said. That is what she said. It's super soft. That's what she said. It's super hard. That's what she that's said. That's what she said. <laughs> it beat me to the punch. Ooh. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. A lot of, lot of complaints. Actually, there yeah. it's complex and then that's the thing so here let me tell you guys out there i tell you guys to go run out and buy it interesting and I'll, i'm jillian says sassafras and i'm gonna get to that because that's actually kind of root beer ish um that like anise oh you're thinking of like sarsaparilla oh yeah i i I kind of get that i kind of get that but hold on hold on i want to i want to i want to zip back real quick rewind so for our friends here locally tumbling dice guys it's 50 58.99 okay hashtag worth it has hashtag worth it so for 60 bucks um, and, and, and here's the thing when we talk about, and we're going to go through this, when we talk about what our, what do we rate it? I put it in two factors. Thank you. I put it in flavor and price, right? That's me at least. I don't know about these guys. They maybe jack off or something. I don't know. What about the mouthfeel? Oh well, yeah, of course. Obvious mouthfeels and is in taste. <laughs> But those are your two top things. <laughs> Shut up. So listen, we're losing people. We're losing people because everybody's getting crazy right now. So here's the thing. Stop. Stop. Fifty-eight ninety-nine. Jillian, please buy a plane ticket. Come out. Or if I'm going to tell you right now. I am more than we're we're we are more than willing to send you a few sample bottles, but you're just gonna have to get it. You're just gonna have to get on the FaceTime for the next show, if that were if that's really? acceptable. So, verdict, tumbling dice, and and this is gonna go right out of my this is gonna go right into my rating. Okay, fifty eight ninety nine, Liquor World store pick. It's super complex. I'm looking at what else is out there for this in this price range for the money. If you want a whiskey that you can come home and take a pour and just be blown away by like the flavor profile, just quit, Jillian. She said, good, because I have no vacation time. Quit your job. 
get on unemployment insurance. You can you can come back out here. I'm sure you can just uh, rotate between a few of your friends out here and live with us without having to pay rent for a couple months you before you couch, find a job. You can couch surf. surf. Couch surf. You can couch surf for at least six months, at least. So, for the value of the money, for the fifty eight ninety nine, for the taste. God, this this is this is this spectacular, is really, and it's you know, opening the, up. Yeah, the now more that, that it sits, like, like it last the the last taste that I had, complete buttercream, buttercream, cheese, buttercream, cheese butter, buttercream, cheese Danish. cheese Danish. There you BJ. go. Very tasty. God, it's yeah, let it so sit. it's that that sweet. I mean, baker's doughiness. Yeah, pour it out. Let it sit for about twenty oh. minutes. Oh, it's money, Jillian. Me and Cindy, me, you and Cindy are more than welcome in any of our houses out here. Uh, uh, Statchel's asking, you can borrow the van. Perfect. So, back to flavor profile. I would like to try this with some Carl's Donuts locally for our friends that are local. Carl's Donuts on Sunset and Eastern. Shout out to Carl's Donuts. Shout out to Carl's. Check out the God, this is this is um, give me a bear claw with a, a Carl's donut bear claw with the this. Cinnamon? The cinnamon. With yeah, this? yeah. Now you know you know exactly what I'm what I'm getting right. Ugh. This is fantastic. Jillian says perfect life plan set. All right, we'll see you in a couple weeks. Um. Yeah. So Carl's yeah. Carl's. Jimmy, I think you got it right with the bear claw. Butter, yeah, cinnamon, yes. Almond. This is where it's at. BJ, that's it, dude. Like if we had a, dude, and I get that doughiness, like yeah. that doughy cinnamon yeah. baking. That's God. Evening. Dude, that's evening dessert. Wow, sure. it's it's very desserty to Zach's point. All right, so here we go. One through ten. Really? Who's starting? I am. Eight, eight out of ten. Okay. Eight out of ten. Tumbling dice. Bourbon bourbon store pick. Cheers to the bourbon bourbon store pick. Cheers to Zach. Cheers to BJ down there on the camera. Boop. Dink. Dink. God, this just is so good. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm, cutting this. I'm not adding water to this ever. No, 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 no! Don't cut this! Don't cut this! And it, and it takes some time, like uh, you know, for the viewers, like we we've been describing, it, it's 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 taking some time to open up. Right. So give it, you know, fifteen twenty minutes for it to get to that buttercream, you know, smell and yes. taste. Yes. All right. Everything. So who's next? I gave my rating. There's your eight yes, out of ten. It's your turn. I will say, you know what? I'm gonna put this. Um, I'm gonna give it an eight point five. Uh. Mm-hmm. I really like this. I am a fan. Um, at first, it was kind of interesting. At first, um, it did have you know the ethanol taste and smell to it. It sure did. But yeah. after after a while, after about 15, 20 minutes of you know airing out and you know having some um, some surface space to you know breathe out. Yeah. This is buttercream in your mouth. It's literally like eat a donut, drink this whiskey. They go Eat a donut hand. and drink whiskey. So 8.5, It's Zach. hand in hand. I love it. I'm a fan. BJ, Zach gave his 8.5. What do you give it? So there's only one other whiskey, which is actually a scotch, that I'm going to give a 10. And that's the Log of Lynn 16. <laughs> Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you just say you're giving this a 10? I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. Wow! Do, 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 do. I don't know if we need like a like fireworks like with the, the, with the golden button, the golden the golden fucking the voice. <laughs> press the button, like wow, really? I'm not even gonna front. I'm gonna put this as a ten out of ten, just like I would put Blanton's. So Lagavulin sixteen is a ten out of ten in my book. Blanton's is a ten out of ten in my book, and Tumbling Dice, the Bourbon Bourbon. Out of 10. So Jillian said, you guys need judges cards to hold up your scores. I like that idea. That's a good idea. Um, that's a really good idea. Yeah, 
this is insane. I mean, this is the perfect kind of bourbon to come home and smoke a cigar wow. with, have a nice pipe. Uh, this is the perfect bourbon to have at Thanksgiving, like after a big Thanksgiving meal. Pour this with the pie? Come on. And this is something where, uh, do you think that you'd want to put it into like a decanter? Hell something yeah. like that to open it up to really let it breathe and yes. and really, you know, like if it's sealed up in the bottle, it seems like the, the ethanol and the bite sticks with it, right? If you put that into a decanter, you let it breathe, you let it open up and you really get that, that buttery cream like it's awesome all right so it looks like jillian wants us to send her that so jillian we're gonna send you uh we're gonna send you a taster of the bourbon bourbon um and then actually we're gonna we're gonna hold tight because here's what we're gonna do we're gonna end up sending you maybe a few so we're gonna send you the the tumbling dice and then um yeah we'll maybe do like a because here's the thing. So for those that don't know out there, uh, BJ, Mr. BJ himself, will actually be able to join us in person next week. Yo! There we go. I'm going to give a big a round of applause. Thank you. BJ oh, will be able to. The Barrel be, Buddies will be, will be reunited. Reunited. The trifecta. This is so good. The, the trifecta. So here's the thing. The Barrel Buddies... The trifecta of the Barrel Buddies haven't been reunited since the first episode. You were right. You were yeah. very right. Yeah. We did, uh, we did the first episode together, and then you got the Rona, BJ. I did. I got the vid. The Rona. The 19. Uh, Statchel says send us a care package. I So from what I know, Statchel and Jillian, you guys are in the same area code, zip code. Uh, we're going to send you both a package. So I'm dead serious. Oh, one um, big package. Yeah. I'm thinking we're going to send you one big package and then you both are going to have to join us on FaceTime because next week's show, Mr. BJ is going to be in person, which means our FaceTime will be open it will. for anybody, which <laughs> you dick for, for multiple barrel buds to join the barrel buddy. Right. I like that. It's Perfect. the barrel buddies. Maybe Getting you're in into trouble. Getting into trouble. Getting into Tr trouble. I drink mean, some we, whiskey. Drink it. We kind of had a song for those that don't know. We kind of had like a barrel buddy song. It's the barrel buddies. Drink some whiskey. <laughs> Getting into trouble. What kind of trouble are we getting into? Uh, this kind of trouble. This kind of trouble. trouble. This kind of trouble. Double trouble. Double trouble. I like it. So, friends, I will say that kind of wraps up our show. Uh, I think yeah. we. Um, That's good. So, night. for those that don't know, and I, it's being asked in the chat, uh, traditionally we are six p.m. Pacific. Seven, seven, seven. Sorry, seven p.m. PST, <laughs> ten p.m. EST is when we normally have the Barrel Buddies live. What if you were to watch this from, like, London? Well, if, you're from, if you're from London... Like, what, what time would it be there? Listen here, Queen Elizabeth. I don't know what to tell you. Zach, Jillian is asking, Hotel Destruction Trouble. I still have more to drink, though. Oh, sorry, Statchel says he has more to drink. Statchel, we, we are more than willing to hang out for at least a couple more minutes. Dude, we're not yeah. going anywhere. Yeah, we're not shutting it down. We're not shutting the stream down. But um, as, as part of our regularly scheduled program, uh, we've given our ratings. We've done two really solid whiskeys tonight. And uh, thank you. Thank you for everybody that joined the show. Uh, tonight, we actually had up to 18 people joining the show, which... Uh, <laughs> I want to give I want to give a big applause to that I think, because I think that, that, that's kind of a record, isn't it? Yeah, no, eighteen people was actually more than we ever got on Twitch. Very good. So, um, shout out to the eighteen people that joined us throughout the night tonight. I uh, tell a friend, YouTube, YouTube live. There we go. Yeah, yeah, no, YouTube live um, is definitely going to be our streaming format moving forward. And, um, yeah, we're super excited about it. And I'm, 
What's great is that I think we've gotten like double the viewers that we've gotten on e- Twitch easily. E- easily. Easily. And like the casual viewer, you know, can, you know, just kind of come by and see what's going on. I think a lot more people are on YouTube. Yeah. For, you know, a great show like this. Um, Jillian says, Zach, we got it figured out, though. We know how to do time zone conversions with Vegas. Statchel says, I need 10 more beers to drink. <laughs> And then Jillian says, again, Rosé all day, all night. So thank you, chat chatters, um, for your comments. And we're more than willing to ship out a wonderful taster package of some West Coast samples of whiskey and some beers. This seriously gets even better Cheers. the longer it stays <clears throat> out. It's insane. Taste it. So, the, again, this is the tumbling dice. So, BJ, did you already pound yours or what? No, I got a little left. No, no, no. Okay, try it again. It's almost like it's, like, morphing into, like, buttercreaminess. Oh, it's, so it's so good. Insane. I love it. Again, I'm not even regretful of a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10. Yeah. 100%. Oh, Whiskey shit. candy. So good. Bam. Pastry and whiskey. Wow. Whiskey, wow, wow, wow. whiskey pastry. How about that? How are we not? I mean, listen, I think, uh, so how many total whiskeys have we reviewed? I would say six. We're at, we're, we're at six right now. All right. So listen, for those of you that are out there. For our viewers. For our viewers. For our viewers. We got two more shows. And then by next show, we're going to be announcing our first ever taster event, our our share event. So everything that we've tasted so far, I think we should look to do a get together where you can come out and we'll host somewhere. We'll get some event space going where we can be socially distanced and uh, we'll do Dude, I'm going to tell you right now, BJ, and kind of to evolve off that, I'll ship whatever to whoever so any of our viewers any of our viewers that want to send us a message on youtube uh follow us on twitter follow us on instagram at the barrel buddies uh go to our website at the barrel shoot us an email we'll send it out at no charge i'll send it but but here's the caveat you're gonna have to join us and review it with us on on, on the show our first, 10, our first 10 whiskeys we've ever reviewed you're gonna have to get on and join us, and yep. we're gonna revisit all ten of them. So everyone, I'll send out I'll send out samples for days, but you're obligated to join us on the FaceTime and review in person. Yeah, we should have a lot more. Uh, I like that. Yep. You know, we we should have a lot more. <laughs> like uh, that. That's a lot more uh, crowd interaction. Crowd interaction <laughs> and a lot more uh, more opinions are, are amazing. Yeah, I so like you know, that. Like, we're, we're gonna put together an event next couple of weeks yep details to come but we're going to be reviewing re-reviewing the first 10 whiskeys from our shows yep so if you're interested hit us up go to our website sign up for the uh for the newsletter and we're going to get a newsletter out and we're going to get an event going so that you know you lucky few who have joined us since the beginning you're going to get in on something really special. Yeah. And we're going to do a live show with all of you. We'll get you FaceTimed and grouped in or Zoomed in, whatever we got to do. Whatever we got to do. Really, really special with you guys and do a really fun show where we can interact and we can talk and we can share these opinions and get it out there. So sign up, mm-hmm. get it in, get it in the chat, get it on the website. Let's go. Yeah, taste what we taste. Yeah, and I would I, taste what we taste is a great point of what Zach said. And I would say our next two weeks will since we'll since us three will be in person, we can invite one person on the FaceTime and I can send them all of our samples. Yeah. yeah. So first person to let us know and first person to commit, get in there. Yeah, shoot us a message. Uh, shoot me a text. Shoot me a message. Shoot us uh, thebarrelbuddies.com. Hit us up on the Barrel Buds on Twitter, the Barrel Buddies on Instagram. You guys, most of you that are joining us tonight know all of our social media. Um, there you go. There you have it. Yeah. 
Great show tonight, gentlemen. Tell Melinda. I don't even have any more. Look, listen, my my glass is empty. And Zach, is, I'm gonna pour. I'm gonna pour a little bit more because this is <laughs> yeah. so good. This is so good. <laughs> See, mine's at the opened up ah oh, portion okay. where, yeah, I'm I'm just tasting buttercream all yeah, day long. Buttercream frosting and yellow cake. I mean, that's it's incredible. Amazing how that opens up over time. Oh, All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Cheers, mate. Cheers, Zach. Cheers, gentlemen. Cheers, BJ. Cheers and I, I, you, I, BJ. I want our friends to look at that color. Look at that copper. Look at that. Cheers. Look at that. Cheers to the uh, the friends on the internet. Cheers to our internet friends watching us this evening. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. You hit the nail on the head there, BJ, with that buttercream... At number 10. 10 out of 10, man. There it is. Bakery buttercream. Give it some time. Wow. It's got to open up. Not immediately. Don't drink wow. it immediately. Let it sit down for a little bit. Yeah, give it a minute. Pour it. Give it a minute. 20 minutes. Wow. That is... You know, the nose... So as, as it opens up, I will tell you this. The nose has a reminiscent of, like, old campfire. Not, like... Current campfire, but like leftover after campfire. Okay. Like there was a campfire. I'm still I focusing like on this like buttercream taste. Insane that a yeah. whiskey that a whiskey can taste like that. You know, like a. Um, it's it's great. so it's so mellow. It's such an easy drinker. Like. Like if if I had to, if I had to pull somebody into drinking just straight whiskey, I would start with this. Like this is stupid easy to it's drink. It's so good. Wow, it's, it's so super good. tasty. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, that's it. tumble and dice, tumble and dice, everybody. There it is. Free ranch, tumble and dice. Recommendations. Go drink it. Go find it. Go get Heck it. Yeah. Yeah. Let us know uh, what you guys think. So. All right, boys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is our show tonight. I know it's uh, kind of an awkward time, like a stop and start time. But uh, we appreciate everybody. We actually had a ridiculous amount of people here tonight. At one point, we had 23 people. That means we have a lot of people that are subscribing. Yeah, no, we had 20. We had 23 people that joined us at one point on the stream. Yeah, just I don't to know throw if that are, out there. I don't know if people are randomly just dropping in or what. Or no, I mean we had 23 for a peak at about 30 minutes. Very so good. Thank you very much for thanks uh, everybody. In. No, we appreciate it. Much. Like I even the the fucking last remaining ten people here, we appreciate you guys. Um, thanks for joining us. Uh, let's go to the chat here really quick. It looks like Jillian and Stashel are doing a little chat back and forth. Um, FYI, let's uh, let's have a, another conversation of getting some samples out to our East Coast friends. And pulling them in on FaceTime. And I, I, I'm really curious. And and maybe we can do a little swap. So maybe they do a little uh, whistle pig uh, digging around or something on the East Coast distillery. And we do a, we do a little bit of this for that. You know what I mean? Trillium, maybe? Will that new permutation? Oh, yeah. A little Trillium. Yeah, Statchel. So if you can go to Trillium and get the permutation, what which one is it, BJ? 109. No, it's 706. It just dropped today. So if you can go to Trillium and get us the beers we want, I will send you anything from the West Coast. <laughs> Done. And anything's and anything's very, like, that's an open... It's BJ nice. laughs there, but I'll send you whatever you want. From I think Satchel is really just a Free beer house. guy, right? Treehouse. Treehouse, oh, dude! Yeah. If you can get, if, if if we can set up like a Trillium Treehouse connection, dude. Hill Farmstead. And Hill Farmstead, don't even get me started on Hill Farmstead. That's a whole to get out there, right? Hold on, there's not many. Most of you people have no idea about Hill Farmstead. The only people that can answer to Hill Farmstead would be Jillian. 
There's no one else on here that knows anything about Hill Farm City. Go fuck yourselves. <laughs> Anyways, we're ending this stream. I don't want to. I don't want to go there. Um, so everybody, next Thursday, join us for the Barrel Buddies, 7 p.m. PST. Um, I don't. I don't even know where we're gonna what we're gonna do next. I don't. I don't even know. Follow the Insta, the Facebook, the Twitter. Yeah, follow follow our social media. We we should put a little thing out earlier, you know, uh, before like the night before the night before. I'll and be I'll, I'll be honest with you. I think that we during our next show are warranted a smoke wagon. Yeah. All right, let's do a smoke wagon, and I'm telling you right now, I'm bringing the Frey Ranch straight whiskey. Okay. We, we definitely need to taste that. <laughs> yes. Thank you, BJ. Thank you. Thank so you, thank you will be in person. I will be in person. So hold on, hold on. How about this? Hold on. How about this? How about by next Thursday's show, we get out some samples to someone out there in the audience for yeah. next next Thursday's show. So Statchel, Jillian, any of our friends out there on the East Coast, hit us up after the show. Uh, we're going to send you some samples for our next Thursday show, and you'll join us on the... You'll join us on the FaceTime because BJ will be in person. Right here. Right here. In the flesh. Right here in the flesh. Where do you want to be, BJ? In between? Right us? here in the I flesh. Be right like here? The right here or right over there? Right over there. Right over there. Or right up here. <laughs> you can sit on the piano if you want. Hey. All right. Everybody, thank you for joining us tonight. Good night tonight. Thank you, everybody. We had a great show tonight. Free Ranch, Tumbling free, free Dice. Free Ranch. Hold on. That's Where's the Free Ranch bottle? Where is it? Here it is. Oh, it's so heavy. Free Ranch, Tumbling free Dice. Ranch. And, and, and thank you for joining us tonight. We really appreciate the follows. We, we appreciate the subscribes. Uh, we've done really well the past couple weeks, so we appreciate all of you that have stuck through and have dealt with our technical difficulties. I hate that. Because here's the thing. Our first couple shows, we had like 50, 60 people. Now we're down to like half of that. I'm okay with that. That's fine. We're going to build our audience back up. Yep. Statchel says, we are not done. Statchel, we are not done, buddy. Definitely not done. Because we're going to talk outside of this. Heck yeah. And I'm going to send you a stupid amount of whiskey and beer. And you can join us on the FaceTime. Or I know Jillian said that Jillian can join us on the FaceTime and our next Thursday episode will uh, be show more views. Next week. Big show. Big, big show. show. Big show. Big show. Big show. A lot of a uh, lot of respiration. Barrel respiration. Barrel respiration. Goes in. There and it out. goes in and out. In and out. In and out. In and out. <laughs> And we ended the show the way it should be. <laughs> Have a good night, everybody. All right, everybody. Signing we off. love you all. Barrel Buddies. Barrel Buddies. Signing off. Signing off. We love you all. Have a great night. And we will chat with you next Thursday. Next Thursday, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. And this guy will. Well, this guy better Five, be in person. Are you going to be in person? Are you going to be in person? person i'm here are you promising that or are you bullshitting that no, I look, look at him like it, like the fray was like right in front look of his face yeah. in the eyes i'm gonna be there in person live hold on say it to the camera hey listen youtube community <laughs> i'm gonna be there live in person <laughs> you said you sound like a like a wwf wrestler you're I'm very that's very that's very rick flair that was very Ric Flair. You view. listen to me. You listen to me. Listen here, here brother. You Next Thursday. I'm coming for you. <laughs> I'm coming for you. <laughs> Everybody, we love you. We appreciate you. Thanks for hanging out and just fucking around with us. Again, that's what this show is all about. Three dudes drinking. Yeah, it's three dudes. We're fucking around. For those that don't it's know, it's our shenanigans. And we were like, you know what? Why don't we just stream it like what we do on the internet live to our friends? Yeah, we like, hang out. We hang out. We talk about cool shit. Yeah. And like, it's fun. It's fun. Heck yeah. 
We love you guys. Have a great night. We'll see you next Thursday. Cheers. 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 Let's do a cheers. Cheers, Barrel Buddies. We got a little taster there. Cheers. Barrel Buddies. Signing cheers. Up. Love you all. Goodbye. Have a great night. Woo! All right. What a that, great show. Dude. That was fun. What a good show.